In this episode of the Huberman Lab podcast, Andrew Huberman discusses a science-supported journaling protocol that has been shown to improve mental and physical health. The protocol is based on the research of Dr. James Pennebaker, a psychology professor at the University of Texas, Austin, and has been supported by over 200 peer-reviewed studies. The journaling protocol involves writing about the most difficult, traumatic, or distressing experience in one's life for 15 to 30 minutes, continuously and without stopping. The writing should be done in a quiet, undisturbed place and can be done by hand or on a computer. The goal is to tap into the deepest emotions and thoughts related to the experience, exploring how it has affected one's life and relationships. One of the key findings from the research is that participants tend to fall into two groups, low expressors and high expressors. Low expressors use less descriptive language and experience less distress during the initial writing session, while high expressors use more negative language and experience higher levels of distress. However, both groups benefit from the journaling protocol, experiencing reduced levels of distress and improved mental and physical health three weeks, three months, and even years later. The protocol involves writing about the same difficult experience four times, either on four consecutive days or once a week for four weeks. It is important to allow time for settling down and transitioning back into daily life after each writing session, as the process can be emotionally intense. The research also suggests that people with a more extensive knowledge of words that describe negative emotions tend to have a lower affect or negative emotional state, while those with a more extensive knowledge of words that pertain to positive emotions tend to have a more positive emotional state. This highlights the impact of language on emotional well-being and the potential for journaling to shape emotional states. The key finding of the research is that the language used in the writing, particularly the frequency of negative and positive words, has a significant impact on emotional states and overall well-being. People who use a lot of negative words tend to have more negative emotional states, while those who use positive words tend to have more positive emotions. This is reflected in both mental and physical health metrics. The protocol encourages individuals to write about facts of the experience, emotions felt at the time and currently, and any links that come to mind about the negative experience and other aspects of their lives. The writing is meant to be personal and not monitored for grammar or spelling, as it is intended for self-reflection and processing of the traumatic experience. Research has shown that individuals who complete the journaling protocol experience significant improvements in mental and physical health. This includes reduced symptoms of anxiety, insomnia, chronic pain conditions, and autoimmune disorders. The positive effects are long-lasting and extend beyond the completion of the writing sessions. One of the key mechanisms behind the positive effects of the journaling protocol is neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to change in response to experience. The protocol taps into the brain's ability to rewire itself by engaging the prefrontal cortex and subcortical structures, which are involved in emotional processing and regulation. A notable study conducted by Pennebaker and colleagues found that individuals who disclosed more about their traumatic experiences in their writing experienced greater immune system activation in response to an immune challenge. This suggests that the emotional intensity of the writing has a direct impact on immune function. Huberman explains that the protocol has been extensively studied and has been shown to have a range of positive effects on mental and physical health. The act of writing about a stressful or traumatic event triggers a process of neuroplasticity in the brain, leading to increased activity in the prefrontal cortex. This increased activity is associated with improvements in symptoms related to trauma and stress. Huberman emphasizes that the protocol is not a quick fix and may initially lead to increased distress and emotional activation. However, over time, the repeated activation of the prefrontal cortex leads to a more coherent understanding of the stressful event, which in turn can lead to improvements in mental and physical health. The protocol is flexible and can be adapted to individual preferences and needs. It is a zero-cost intervention that can be done in the privacy of one's own home. While the writing is intended for personal use, 
It can be shared with a trusted mental health professional if desired. Huberman also discusses the importance of self-care and emphasizes that the protocol may not be suitable for everyone. It is important to assess one's readiness to delve into the emotional intensity of the writing and to seek support if needed.